When I make an animated film, it's not only the script which determines the character, the figures, it's also the material I use. Animating sand is marvelous. Already at the Fine Arts Academy, I'd thought of experimenting with this type of material, because I'm originally a graphic artist, a graphic designer. I experimented with many materials until I finally found this quartz sand, which is a material that offers many splendid refractions of light. It's very interesting to see all this at close hand, and to see how beautiful all these little dots are. I would like to be able to show you these under a microscope. Lit from beneath, they bring out the most varied shades of brown. This is the table on which I work, a glass surface lit from below by a very strong lamp. Obviously, during the filming, the camera shoots vertically from above. It's very important for the sand to be fined, minutely prepared and filtered, so as to have the best material for the frame-by-frame -frame technique. Animation with sand allows for a great deal of improvisation. I frequently do not follow the drawing in the script. I sometimes find the image that is emerging to be better than what was planned, so I carry on improvising. One picture, one position, another picture, another position and so on for months. But I have to be very careful. If I move a figure or make the slightest mistake with my hand, I can ruin days of work. If, for example, in one scene I close the eyes of this character, more or less this way, I have to touch and transform the image with great delicacy. Now that prepares a new position that I must continue to transform. You can change the expression of a face, making an angry face smile and vice versa. The changes of expression can be very rapid. I use different work tools, the paintbrush for instance. You can make the sand flow very delicately. In my film Ab Ovo, I made a bird and its wings move thanks to a paintbrush. I move them gradually, little by little, down and down, depending on the bird's flight. Then up again, always using the paintbrush. In the same way you can use a sheet of paper. Paper is in fact a tool that can help you solve the most difficult problems. I use it, for instance, when I need to make houses, modern buildings. Usually I do it this way. With paper you can make good windows. The films I make with sand are not built around a story. They have neither a beginning nor an end. I would call them film poems. Yes, more or less like poetry. They're a compilation of collective memory. Everybody in some way feels that these images are part of themselves. And I think one can let oneself go in these continuous transformations with these images that are born and die.